What is up guys? Don't forget to subscribe, check out my channel playlist and on my channel for interviews and tutorials on logic, sculpting, animation, music, and more. And if there's videos that pop up at the top, you can click on those because those will direct you to video tutorials that I have created. Also, if you want to come to the stream, if it's that I'll stream at the top, feel free to come into the stream if you want to. So this is how you make a jacket in Dreams PS4. You'll be using the hexagon, you'll be using the square. The square is the arm. I use the arm as the square for both arms and the body. So I didn't use anything except for that for these three things, or two, yeah, these three things. No mirror tool, didn't use the mirror tool. And I used the circle to cut in. I used the hexagon to cut in. And I use, I don't think I used the square, but I may have used the square to cut in in some parts also to create this. Now the hood, for the hoodie, I could have polished mine a little bit better, but you don't have to. This is what I did for my hoodie. I basically went to my circle tool, then I made this. Now that mine can be polished a little bit more and you can polish yours. So to do that, I pretty much raised up the hole and put it on two for selection to actually give it the hood thing. And don't forget to subscribe and check out my other tutorials also. I also made this for the front part also, as you can see. To, court, to sort of give it that kind of look. Then I decided to uh, mess around with it. I kind of like it better like that. I might mess around with this hoodie actually a little bit more because I actually kind of like how this is turning out. Now again, to make the creases, I mainly use the hexagon to get the folds in the shirt or the hoodie. To actually create that right there, the two lines for the hoodie, the zipper things, I just use the flicks in the ruler tool to uh, pull it down. And then I went here, then it has its direction right here. You can move around the direction, but it's the direction of the wind, put it on physical, and you can mess with your properties as you want to. Mine's one, 11, 25.0, 50, and this is the gravity for it. Now, let's go ahead and undo it. And this is pretty much how I created it from the beginning. This should start it off at the beginning. So the last thing I did was added the flicks. The second to last thing I did was started um, messing with the hood to make the hood look a little bit better. By using the circle tool, I use the circle tool to put a hole inside of the hood. You may need to do that. You may need to use two hoods, one overlapping the other. Sometimes that makes it look better, sort of like I did this front part. Up at the top, I actually made a fold with the hexagon. It made the whole shirt look a little bit better, as you can see. That's how I did my folds for most of the shirt. I also used the circle tool to get the perfect look over here on the left side. If you like that look pri uh, over the right side, I use the circle tool and the hexagon tool to get those kind of folds compared to this kind of fold. But I only use the square for the base body and the square for the shirt. I didn't use a circle to create the sleeve. I used a square, then I cut into it with the hexagon. Then I may have used the circle tool to fold it, like I said, and then I may have molded it like I may have this is how you use the uh, blend tool by the way you have to use stamp mode for this tutorial and this is your blend you can also blend cuts you can also blend color cuts so if it's a different color then if this was black and I cut into it it would have a black outline you can do that also So I did use the blend tool for this. For the neck, I just use a cylinder. And I, it's really free form for the jacket. Like I was just messing around with it. There's not really that many shortcuts, if that makes sense. Like some of my other tutorials had shortcuts. This doesn't need that many shortcuts. It's actually faster to do it without shortcuts. Because with shortcuts, it's gonna look too too plain 
if that makes sense, and you want it to sort of look like a sculpture. That's the kind of look you're going for. Or the way I had it in my mind, you're trying to give it the rock look. The look of rocks. Excuse me. So here I am moving around my my hood to get it perfect. Oh my gosh. My hood to get it perfect. Sorry, I have a cold, guys. And right there, I put in the um, the first part of the... Um, don't know what those are called, but, you know. So it started looking out like this. So as you see, it, it's starting out to look like the square, like I said. And then I was just cutting with the hexagon. I really went in with the hexagon right here on both shoulder sides, as you can see. And then the more I cut into it with the hexagon, the more I started forming everything. I went ahead and put the circle thing in there for the neck because I felt like I needed that. Then I went ahead and put that extra part in there. That's a half circle. So I'll go ahead and fast forward so you guys won't be, you know, like, whoa. So this right here is an important part. I would think I use the cylinder right here. So it's a square, then I use a cylinder after you did the hexagon folds. And then after I started adding more folds, it really, really started turning out right, as you can see. So let's go ahead and rewind back in time. So for the tips of the shirt, you use a cylinder. And for, you know, start it out with the square. And make sure the sleeves are longer than the base body. And I did not look at it. Well, no, I did look at the shirt for this. What am I talking about? So it is, you should look at shirts and stuff while you're doing it. So you can like, you know. Have the picture there. So it started all out as Minecraft. Believe it or not, it all started with Minecraft. So really not that many steps, guys. Uh, you could see the hexagon stuff I'm using, square, hexagoned everything. Right here I did the deep hexagon cut. So after you like get the form, do the deep hexagon cut, then you can do the circle cut, the solid circle cut without the blend tool up at the top. And you can start adding folds with the hexagon. And I just kept going, kept going, kept going, kept going, kept going, kept going. Cylinder for the tip. Cylinder for the other tip. With blend on, connected. Cylinder to get some of the creases. Seems like that's what I did. And then the hexagon to get most of the creases. And then you can polish it up as you want to. You can also add that pouch. And some hoodies have that uh, a thing at the bottom that has that kind of thing. You know what I'm saying? Sort of like Naruto's uh, original. Not the ship you didn't want, I don't think. But, you know, the bottom part of his hoodie or jacket. Sort of like that. And add that to your hoodie if you want to also. You can polish your hood up as much as you need. And this was actually supposed to be a backpack right here. So this is like sort of a square right here. You can like leave that out. And I did circle cuts to like kind of give indentions on the back. Probably with the blend tool on, maybe, maybe not. It looks like I didn't blend that one too well. Fix that up, but. Then right here, probably two eggs, you know, two, uh, two circles, clone tool, pull it up half circles clone your half circle probably clone my half circle right here and then I cut into it with no blend on with the circle to give it you know then at the bottom of my half circle I probably use a circle tool to like make it deeper to where it's not like you know like that like you know just a spear give it more depth and that's sort of how I did it so again you're trying to give it a rock like impression for the dreams look if you're trying to make a pretty cool hoodie, 
you can make yours as outstanding as you want to. I think this right here is really good. I'm actually, I'm favorable of it. So don't forget to subscribe, guys. I hope this helps you understand how to make hoodies in Dreams PS4. And remember, you can like move around your thing too if you need to do that. Make it perfect, resize it, do what you need to do. What you need to do. And then, you know, cut into it. Sometimes this guy, sometimes messing with your cuts works. Like you can just see if something works. And you'll be surprised what works. Be surprised what works. It's almost ready to put on to a puppet and use. Well, if you wanted to make this a puppet, you would have to do the sleeves, and then press start new sculpture, do the other sleeve, or you can mirror, mirror it, start new sculpture, because in order to add connectors to it, that's what you would have to do. Is have everything as a separate piece while you're sculpting on to. Well, no. You don't have to do it like that. That's only if you want to use the puppet. You can like do it from scratch if um No, you could technically just use this as a body. This far right here. Just look up my how to make puppets tutorial on my uh channel playlist. You'll you'll find the how to make characters slash puppets. It'll probably pop up up here somewhere, so don't forget to come to the stream if you have something you want me to test, see, watch, hear, or listen to the music you created. All that great stuff. And hope this helps.